What is the point of the reproductive system? Why do we have all this madness? We need to make gametes. We need to make gametes so we can have sex and combine those gametes and make babies that are more likely to survive than babies who are not made by combining two people's gametes. So the process of producing gametes is called gametogenesis. We have spermatogenesis, which is the production of sperm, and we have oogenesis, which is the production of eggs. But both processes follow a similar pattern. There is a process that cells go through in order to produce gametes. And what is that process called? Something that after bio one you should be like, piece of cake, no problem, totally remember the whole thing. And actually I'm going to make the assumption that you do remember the whole process. The process is meiosis. Meiosis is nuclear division that results in gametes. As opposed to mitosis, mitosis is nuclear division that results in identical uh, daughter cells all over your body. Your cells have to grow. Your body has to grow. You have cells that die. They have to be replaced. It's the process of mitosis that allows for the replacement of cells that die or, or places that need growth. It's the process of meiosis that ends up with gametes so we can have sex and make babies. So meiosis, overview. You start out with a single diploid cell, and I'm hoping that this sounds remotely familiar to you. A diploid cell, almost all the cells in your body are diploid. They have two copies of every single chromosome that you have. A single diploid cell divides twice in the process of meiosis. After meiosis one, you end up with two cells, but they only have half the number of chromosomes that you started with. So if you started with, say, 46 chromosomes, at the end of meiosis one, you only have 23 chromosomes. Now, because of the way the process works, you have half the number of chromosomes, but you still have too much DNA, so the cells divide again, and you end up with four new haploid daughter cells. And they're haploid because there's only one copy of each chromosome. These guys are diploid because there's two copies of each chromosome. Meiosis results in unique haploid daughter cells. Why? Why go through all that, especially when you have to learn all the processes? Well, a haploid cell can combine with a haploid cell to make a little zygote. Oh, and that zygote will grow up to be just like you. So exciting. The zygote is diploid. It now has two copies of every chromosome again. It's nice to have two copies of every chromosome. Gives you a little protection against some gnarly genetic uh, conditions. So it, it's really a pretty successful system. It's how we're going to make sperm. So we're going to start out with a cell that's going to divide and end up with four sperm cells. One grown-up parent cell that, of course, is going to have a name, four resulting sperm cells. In oogenesis, you can imagine that we're going to have a very similar process. We're going to go through the process of meiosis to produce our eggs. So let's talk about the details of spermatogenesis.